Hello everyone and welcome to a Get Ready With Me where I am already partially gotten ready with myself. Um, I just, I'm filming a weekly wear, but I also felt like talking about something that I feel like I have enough to talk about to constitute as a video. We're gonna see if I scrap this, I scrap this. But if you all are watching right now, clearly I did not scrap it, so. Cheers. Dating with depression. That's a thing, right? That's a thing that's possible, right? Well, if you would have asked me a while back, I might not have been able to say yes as confidently as I can right now today. If you don't know me, hello, welcome. My name is Cassie. But if you do know me, hi. My name is Cassie, you, you already know that, and you probably already know, but just in case you didn't, that I have clinical depression. Major depressive disorder, I think is the actual term to what I have been diagnosed with, and it is something I have been dealing with for longer than I can remember. I was diagnosed with it back in undergrad. I think it was my junior year. I've done a whole video on it and just how difficult it was for me to accept the condition that I was dealing with and go and get myself the help that I needed and deserved. Because I'm just gonna say it right now, if you have depression, whether it is diagnosed or in the early stages, developing, whatever it is, or maybe you've had it for years and years and you just have been too ashamed to go get help. Listen, I have been there, but you deserve it. I don't care how miserable and weak and whatever other horrible things your brain is telling you that you are ungrateful. Trust, like I said, I've been there, but I wanna say you deserve help you can go get help, it is available, and it's something, like I said, you deserve it. And things can and will get better, especially if you go and get that help that you deserve. Hello everyone, pardon the interruption here. I wanted to stop in with a happy little surprise. This video got sponsored, woohoo! So let's go ahead and thank one of my favorite sponsors here, Native. I've been working with them for a long time here on my channel, and it is because I truly love their products. You guys know I would never promote something that I don't actually use and enjoy, and Native deodorants are one of those things that I use and enjoy, and on top of that, would highly recommend. I am always looking for new ways to be more sustainable in my life. Finding products that reduce single-use plastics and whatnot, or really single-use anything, and also finding products that can replace plastic products, such as Native deodorants. They have their plastic-free deodorants, and their packaging is brand new. And and improved. Not only is it earth friendly, but it is 100% plastic free. So we're talking the same amazing formula as their normal deodorant, except now it comes in a plastic free package. Native is also a proud partner of 1% for the planet, which means they commit 1% of their plastic free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. As you can see, I have version one of their plastic free packaging, but now they have it in the, you know, normal, more conventional deodorant shape. 92% of plastic free users do prefer this shape and I understand why like I said it's just what a lot of us are used to and like I said because the packaging is recyclable you save 37 grams of single-use plastic with every non-plastic deodorant purchased and the paper for this packaging native is committed to sourcing it from responsibly managed forests and as I said I just love the actual deodorant product as well the scents are delicious my favorites hands down are definitely the coconut and vanilla. It's very sweet and personally, I think, feminine. And then I also love, I would say it's my number one, but the citrus and herbal musk. It's citrusy, and then it's got that sexy musk to it. I feel really good when I wear this. Like, it just, it makes me feel very sexy. It's a delicious scent, and to me, it leans more masculine, but I personally think it's a unisex scent. And these scents have 72-hour odor protection to them. Makes it great for all-day wear, even after exercise 
exercise. The texture is perfect. It's not sticky and it dries quickly. The formula is also aluminum free and paraben free along with being cruelty free and vegan, which is great. The ingredients are familiar and simple. You can pronounce them like coconut oil and shea butter. And as you could probably tell, the scent range is vast. They're always releasing new limited edition and sensitive scents. So you can always keep your eyes peeled for those. They actually just came out with their cabin collection for fall where you can embrace the magic of autumn. Oh, how excited are you? I know I am. It's a limited edition fall collection just centered on all things autumn. So think of being outdoors, the campfires, the apple picking, getting cozy and warm. You can create your own cabin in the woods feeling with native scents such as warm cider and cinnamon. Mm, just two of the best fall scents if you ask me. And native makes it even better for you guys with a special code, a special offer. Normally three plastic free deodorants from native would be $39, but with my link and my code, you will get them for only $26. That's 33% off. Plus on top of that, with my code, you can also get 20% off of any body wash or toothpaste. So thank you so much once again to native for sponsoring this video and thank you all for checking them out and using my code. It really does help to support the channel here. You supporting my sponsors supports me to help create more of the content you want to see here on my channel. So thank you everyone. And now back to the get ready with me. But yeah, so for a very long time, whether I was medicated or not, I really, just like I didn't think I was deserving of getting help with my mental health, I also didn't think that I was deserving of love. There were too many things that I thought I had. You know, I thought I was too depressed. I thought I was too fat. I thought I was too ugly. I thought I was too stupid. I thought I was too boring. I thought I was a lot of things that would not be attractive to a partner and also things that just weren't true, you know, things that depression brain tells you that not only are not very nice, but are also very false. Like I said, it took a lot of time and therapy for me to figure that out and get that in my brain, but eventually I have, I have come to that path. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know that I have been dating, I mean, unsuccessfully dating in the sense that I was partnerless for a very long time and just couldn't find someone that I actually wanted to call my partner until recently. But really just overall, I was also very scared while dating because those thoughts, those depressive thoughts that you have, they never completely go away, you know? Even if you have gotten the help from a therapist, a psychiatrist, whatever, you know, you've done the work. Unfortunately, the work never ends, you know, it's not, and this I'm pretty sure, I obviously can't speak to experience with all mental disorders and whatnot, but I would think that all of them, there's no cure-all. It's not like you do the workbook, you completed the pamphlet, you have taken all of the courses, and you are officially graduated, you no longer have the disorder, you will always have it. And so those thoughts are always gonna be there. And when you're dating a new partner and it's someone that you actually really like, it is so hard to remember all of the things that you have learned and that you have tried to implement in your life. You know, that you are worthy of this love that you are feeling and experiencing. This person that you have found that you think is wonderful and lovely and they say that they think that you are wonderful and lovely, even with all of your dry flaky bits in your eyebrow. I know it's very hard to believe a lot of the time, but like I am trying so dang hard not to screw things up. <laughs> Ugh. Partially my eyes are just having a bad watery day, but also partially it just, it does it. It gets me freaking emotional just to think about because I have found such a wonderful, loving, supportive partner and it took so long <laughs> to find him. But like I said, now that I have him, I don't want to mess things up. And it, this is the first time anyways where I mean, he has nursed me through a sickness for like a whole month straight. So like he's seen me at a low point for sure, but like he hasn't seen me at a depressive 
low point, which is very different, you know, from where I'm physically hurting to where I'm mentally hurting. There's, at least for me, there's quite a big difference in those processes, those healing processes, those living with processes, especially because I know a lot of people do have that stance on mental health where it's like, just get over it. Like, we're all sad about something and we all can live our lives. Like, what's so different about you? Unfortunately, I have heard that from people in my life and it sucks. Trust me, I get it, I've been there. And it, it especially, I mean, if a stranger tells me that, fine. But like, especially when it comes from a loved one, it's like, <sighs> times that feeling by at least a thousand. Or the people that look down on you for taking medication for, your mental health like I just I don't know maybe it's just because I have mental health problems that it's hard for me to understand but like I just why would you ever the heck oh, I had a bunch of powder on my finger I was like am I molting like I know I had a visible eye goober but it just multiplied before my eyes literally before them and in them was I wearing a purple eyeshadow at some point <laughs> Yeah, Fig, was I? God, I don't remember that. Are my capillaries bursting? Cool. But yeah, so I've been going through a small bout of depression. It has not been the worst, that's for sure. I've- Fig, I'm right here. Hi. You know, it hasn't been one of the bouts of depression where I can't even bring myself to work or shower or get out of bed. You know, I have been able to push myself through it pretty okay like it's been it's been hard but it hasn't been debilitating but you know it was to a point where I was experiencing it during the week and my boyfriend lives here with me on the weekends and so I knew I was gonna have to tell him because there's no way for me to predict or know whether or not it's gonna go away you know like fingers crossed it's gone by the weekend so he doesn't have to experience me like this where I'm extra sleepy extra lazy extra irritable extra quiet all of the above I don't want that but it's something that could definitely happen so like I have to warn him and so that was not a fun thing to have to talk about but like I said I am so lucky to have found this man who accepts me for all of my flaws and all of my everythings that I wish I could change about myself and he just says what you know it's a part of you I wouldn't change anything obviously I would change it if it made you feel better but it's just a part of you and I'm here to support you through it I don't think he realizes how cool that is that he can say that to me <laughs> Like I said, like just knowing how bad I can get, like it's, I just know that there are things that he would much rather be doing than hang out with me while I'm feeling that way. Lies, I was wearing purple. My makeup brush confirms it. And then like, of course it definitely didn't help that I also like started my period this weekend too. So I was just like extra hormonal and sad and irritable, but like, he stuck it out and was able to just laugh through it with me because at least I was self-aware enough to like know how ridiculous I was acting like driving to the renaissance festival and getting road rage and whatever else it wasn't even road rage it was just like me practically crying because people were passing me and making me feel like I was driving slow even though I was going five over the speed limit <laughs> and just screaming out my car window like why are you doing this to me like what did I do to you like I was trying to make you feel bad about the way that you were driving but then there you go just speeding ahead of me and now there's like 10 other cars speeding ahead why are you guys making me feel like I'm a slow driver you know like I know I'm being stupid ridiculous whatever you're gonna want to call it unreasonable maybe that's a better way to put it <laughs> but you know he was able to just laugh with me and not take anything personal I don't think I took anything out on him except maybe like not laughing at as many of his jokes but to be fair they weren't all funny <laughs> you guys listen I, I crack a lot of bad jokes too so this is not just me being mean to him there are plenty of my jokes that he does not laugh at <laughs> best believe <laughs> I get booed off stage 
in our relationship as well in that area. But, and I almost started crying at the Renaissance Festival. We were just sitting down having some food before we left and a random, random person had gotten a drink and he just came over and sat down and you could tell he was just one of those people that enjoys talking to strangers and he just sat down and was asking us how our day has been at the fair and all that stuff. You know, what's been our favorite part of the festival today? And I thought about it. I couldn't really pinpoint what my favorite point had been at that at that time, even though I had had a really good day. And then it just kind of dawned on me. My favorite part of, I mean, not only that day, but just the weekend has been spending quality time with my guy. My guy who supports and loves me and is there for me and wants me around. What am I doing? I don't even, I had no plans for a makeup look today, you guys, but apparently I'm going very purple. And I dared to have the audacity to wonder how I had purple on my lids. <laughs> This probably happened the other day too, but yeah, I truly, I did, I just told the guy. I, my favorite part of today and the weekend, like I said, has just been spending quality time with my guy, with my loved one, with my partner, with my person. I, I, I've never been able to say that about someone before, you know? At least not a partner, you know? A friend for sure, but not a partner. And it just, it... <sighs> Definitely almost cried when I came to that realization, but like it's true and I just like I said I, I wanted to even if it was just a simple thing to say to you all like it's I wanted to be able to come on here and be like you guys It's possible like I realized I had found a good one But something about this weekend really solidified it that I, I have such a good one and I got so lucky and Yes, it took a while, but like, I'm enjoying every second that I possibly can with this wonderful person that has come into my life and who I love and cherish very deeply. And it's just, it's possible, you guys. It's possible no matter how down in the dumps or whatever it is you feel, no matter how hopeless, it is a thing that can be done. You just have to persevere and remember that you do have worth, regardless of how worthless you may feel at any given point in time. There are actually good people out there looking for you and wanting to love and support people in their life. Be as a partner or as a friend, you know? But like, as a friend, sometimes it can feel easier to find those people, but like as a partner, I know how impossible it can feel like are there really people out there that would love me at my lowest like I said I've been there I understand it's hard it sucks but you've got to keep going because when you do find the love when you do find your person when you do find your partner it's just such bliss and all of the times people have told me you know Cassie when it happens you're just gonna know it's not gonna be hard you're not gonna need to fight to maintain or keep this love like it will be so easy it'll just happen and for whatever reason I never was able to really believe or understand that because to me and, you know, don't get me wrong, like, every relationship will have its ups and downs. Like, I am sure, it's weird not having to call him hot dish anymore, but I'm sure Dan and I will face times where we disagree, we fight, we argue, whatever. But I also know that the love is there and that we will make it through it because we both actively want to keep each other in our lives. And how stinking cool is that? super stinking cool. You can't convince me otherwise. So yeah, there you go. Here's the, here's the completed look. You know, I just put on mascara and some lip gloss. Again, had no idea I was going purple today. <laughs> But I hope this video was helpful in some way. Like I said, uh, sometimes I sit down and I'm like, yeah, that could be a good topic. And I feel like I would have enough to say. And then I sit down and I do the video and I'm like, did I say anything at all in these past 20 minutes? I, I mean, like I said, I hope so. The intent was there. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, doing my makeup. Hopefully could maybe boost your spirits a little bit to anyone out there who's feeling hopeless and like things might never happen for them. <sighs> like I said, I've been there, done that, continue to go there and do that. Um, but things can only get as good as we allow them to, right? If we don't help ourselves, you know, it, 
things can get better on their own, but they can get even better, even quicker, if we allow ourselves to take in the good that the world sometimes has to offer for us. And sometimes good things really are worth waiting for. It's not worth, not worth settling. It's really not in any part of your life if you are, a, you know, obviously there are some things in life, like financially and stuff, you know, if you have to settle for a living space that you are not entirely happy with but you can't afford anymore, obviously, settle. You know, be happy that you're able to get a roof over your head at all. Someday, you know, keep investing and saving and eventually, someday, you can, you can get somewhere better. But, um, you know, when it comes to your mental health, thankfully, even if you can't afford a actual therapist at the moment, at least there are a lot of resources online that you can at least begin to try and help yourself in that area. So, um, in any case, like I said, I just hope this was helpful. I love you guys and I am so grateful to have had you guys on this love journey of mine, you know? I have no idea where it's gonna take me. I mean, as of right now, things are going good, but who knows what'll happen in the future. But as of right now, I am just feeling a type of happiness that I didn't know was possible. And I do not want to start crying because I just did my makeup and I have no idea if this mascara is waterproof, but I am just, I'm in a really happy place right now. You guys have helped me through the bad times and helped me, help me get through the crap that happens to me and that I put on myself and all of the above. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. Um, so thank you guys for sticking with me all these years and for all this time. And if, hey, if you're new here, thanks for checking me out. You know, thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, don't let the tears fall. Like I said, we don't know this mascara yet. We are just getting to know her. But yeah, thank you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> and when I say it at the end of the videos, I always mean it. But I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, please do stay well until then. Bye.